approach. Yeah, the whale take the whale takes a narrow line. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Saints stream. I am joined once again here by Adam Trolls for some more Call of Duty action. How you doing tonight, Adam? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this team has got. Of course, we've had a really good start to the season. Curious mm -hmm. to see how they do up against a little bit of a struggling Northeastern squad here. Not the best start to the season. This isn't what we really expected from them, but nonetheless, I think this is expected for the Saints thus far going 3-0. Yeah, it's very interesting because, yeah, as you saw in that break screen there, St. Clair Saints now 3-0 and in the season here in a Star League. And Northeastern, typically a pretty competitive school in COD, is, you know, finding themselves 0-3 at the starting of the season. So, yeah, statistics-wise, it looks like it should be pointing definitely as like a 3-0 in the Saints direction, but... Truthfully, Northeastern, you know, they typically a strong school, so you never want to count them out, right? Yeah, I think especially when you look at sort of history in that regard, you don't ever want to count out some of these teams. Sometimes it's just, hey, we had some players on the bench or something, or, mm -hmm. you know, there was some other things going on like that. But of course, we can talk about the Saints roster as well, speaking of which, someone who has been on the bench a little bit because of wisdom teeth surgery, recently going to be back in, you know, the good old captain there, going to be bringing it back around. Yeah, you know. Cod, Saints Cod staple there, Priestley. Yeah, he hasn't, if you've been watching the past few weeks, yeah, he hadn't been there for a few weeks just due to some wisdom tea surgery, you know. Happens to the best of us, right? to everyone, yeah. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, and then coming in also, not in last week, I believe, is Bendy. Bendy's going to be coming back in. Sino, you know, at, on an absolute tear from last week. Sino, you know, just ripping through some of these teams, search and destroy. I think we went like 14 and one in one of those maps or something. It was wild. And ra or rounding off the roster is going to be Relazed there with Blaz ready to sub in for these search and destroy maps. And speaking of maps, we can show them to you guys right now. So we've got an interesting one here today. No Berlin and only one Tuscan. So we are getting some. Huge variety of maps for COD Vanguard. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. And for someone who's a little bit newer to this, it's interesting to see some new maps mm -hmm. that I get to see as well. So I believe that's Gavudu for uh, Control there as the third map. So we're going to destroy going to be on Desert Siege. We get the good old Bokaj for four and five, of course. But realistically, with what we're expecting, not sure if we're going to see too much Bokaj today. Yeah the, yeah, the question will really be, do we get to Bokaj? But I mean... Desert Siege Search and Destroy, not something we see very often week by week, so could be something that some of these newer players to the Saints aren't ready for. Who like, who knows how much teams actually scrim Desert Siege, considering it's picked probably like 0.1% of the season. So yeah, and coming up this week, we've got some more broadcasts for you as well. We are going to be taking a little bit of a break for Thanksgiving weekend, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday are going to be no broadcasts, but... Tomorrow, we're going to be back here for some Varsity Rocket League. And Friday, we've got Rocket League and CSGO Academy. So that's going to be their first time on the stream. I can't wait to cast some CSGO. I know, Adam, you love casting the Valorant. I, uh, I'm i going to, I'm hyped for CSGO. CSGO, a little bit slower, you know, less, less cluttered in my opinion. And uh, yeah, just all around classic game yeah, it's it's an interesting game for sure i mean i'm excited to be able to watch it as well so you know just being able to get as many different teams on broadcast especially here in the early parts of this season this is where we've got sort of the most diversity it's yeah, where a lot of sure. our teams you know there's no playoff implications you can just say hey regular season game let's show off a little bit of as we saw last week rainbow six or mm -hmm. let's look at csgo for the first time all season so there's a little bit of diversity with that but of course as we get past thanksgiving things start to pick up a little bit you know overwatch 2 is coming out that's gonna uh, be an interesting if we one. can actually connect to it you know even for league you know preseason patches coming so there's a lot of excitement down the tube even for call of duty we're gonna get what is it? Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, That's Modern Warfare is. 2. That's going to be coming October 28th. Not sure when the leagues are going to switch to it, if they're just going to ride out the season with Vanguard. We'll have to see in the coming weeks there. But at this point, we're dealing with COD Lobby stuff. So we're just going to throw it to a quick break before we come to you with Map 1, Tuscan Hardpoint. We'll be back in a few minutes here. 
Onto the lease and once again it's a double kill for a bakery boy and this might just be it. St. Clair, they refuse to give up. Their early games were poor, but man, they came back in this one so hard. Look at all the damage coming down. Bakery boy jumming forward aggressively and throw. And Sarah to hold the line. Shadow Surge gonna take down one. It's this could be the final fight of the game and throw is going away. Let's go, Here comes the auto tech down the Nexus. St. Clair gonna take down the NECC champions, the Sea Law runner-ups, and win this series against Fisher College. That was an insane series to watch. I have slight like control of that point. They get two, three points oh. on it, and Saints just mow him down the same way Relas is doing right now. That's three on his own. He's looking for the fourth. He's looking around for this one. There it is. Four kills from Relas coming. I could see uh, they're down a man as well, so I could see maybe just. Well, they're even now. Oh, Sino, oh, yeah, this yeah, is a yeah. flank on Bowie here. Bowie, oh. you're not ready for that one, buddy. Sino coming in with oh. that MP40, grabbing two. Only seeds and trees pressure. Try to get that early Lizy, because when they have that early lead, we see how aggressive they play. They look to snowball this game, try to get Cleary out of there, and Brandon could be playing from that top banister. Great job to find the kill. He's going to find the second as well. Maybe looking for the third. Finds the triple. Sight gets cleared. St. Clair with a lot of They should be able to make it to this second one. Maybe even finish it off as Brandon gonna fall. I don't think they can clear out Cleary that fast. Oh, the contest last second. Saints are gonna be taking it down now. So only wow. two takes on A for them that is big. 20 seconds left on the point. They have to either commit to A or take B two ticks in a row. This is gonna be hard for them to do with the rest of the Saints already rotating around. Wow. Sino, absolute demon. Enemy team, it's just uh -oh. so little you can do. Look at Valparaiso. So good at these offensive plays, just keeping it around the Saints net for so long. Little wide there from, I believe it was the scent hit that one. Uh oh, that's a bouncer, but Master Seb, perfect defense player for VU right now. Master Seb, master of defense as well, hasn't let anything. Drew, great there little one timer there, gonna be Descent and Nitrix there. I cannot deny the amount of value that Master Seb has to this team. Not only can he set up some great passes, but he has been the key one on VU to make all of these saves from some tough St. Clair shots yep. too. These are not easy saves to be making a lot of the time, but Master Seb always finding him in the right position. Goes a little high as Descent trying to find one. There's the angle. That's Catrix in game one and game two. We still got 45 seconds on the clock though. Game is not out of hand yet. The Saints trying to find that fourth goal, trying to ice this one, trying to bury that one and make this a 1-1 series. And Valparaiso still fighting for their lives here, trying to get that one back. Yeah, slow bounce towards the middle here. It's gonna go high, Oblivious. Give it a little dribble, but set it up almost perfectly for Descent. Nitrix trying to take it in, there it is. Off. Oblivious in a good oh. for defense oh. now. There he is though, Master Seb always oh. in position. Rotates around that left side and he's able just barely squeak that save off. That would have been cheeky as all hell from, I believe it was Ramen there. That was just a nasty little ankle breaker, a little change of pace, but now Valparaiso back the other way, and that looks like a pretty that's vacant a net away. for the Saints, and that's gonna result in a goal. Nitrix. Uh, like Cole Rocks there, who's able to just take it out and then clear it back over towards that Saints side. So I think the Saints just, you know, try and, try and get some cheeky angles from yep. the right or left there, you know, with the tip of your headlights. Right over the, the middle. Oh, wow. Beautiful pass over the middle once again. Exactly what we were talking about. Nitrix putting in all the work on the wall there. Great ball control. Great. Look at this one. Bounces off the wall and just sends her straight down into that net. <laughs> Master Seb trying his hardest yeah. to get there and save that one, but some of them just can't be saved. Now 3 0 for Saints Academy here. Yeah, Saints Academy, definitely uh, gonna be the favorite for the ride of the rest of this game. Nitrix though, gonna maybe try to get one more. Oh, individual effort galore. Nitrix oh. gonna skirt around too. Find that equalizing goal of the Saints, just trying to make sure they're able to bury this one. Try to ice it away, Valparaiso threatening. Double tap off the backboard, but Seb not gonna quite find it. Getting the defense earlier, now trying to find, be that offensive catalyst. And Valparaiso, they need it now more than ever. Robin may have just saved a goal from Nitrix. Unlucky, absolutely oh, no. unfortunate for the Saints. Little BM. That's a roll. And they get it right back. So, you know what they say about Karma? It'll come back to get you. And just like that, the Saints trying to save the ball. They're trying to spike it up, but just not going to make it in time. So now the Saints, you definitely don't have this game wrapped up yet. You want to try to maybe find that second goal here. Getting straight into Tuscan Hardpoint here on map one. Bendy already starting the game off hot with a kill of his own. Priestley gonna follow that up as a team kill actually comes out for Northeastern. So 
After grabbing like five points on site there, it looks like the control is going to go over to St. Clair. Yeah, already just starting off. You know, yeah, welcome back to the stream, by the yeah. way. You know, <laughs> just getting right into the action here. Of course, this is a map that we've seen St. Clair do really well on, on hard point specifically. So, mm -hmm. not going to be too surprised with anything that comes through from them. Of course, already resting control of this game. You know, only one kill, two kills now going over to the side of Northeastern. But already you can see the dominance this team is ready to pop down. As you can see, Sino you know, picking up a couple on Priestley. 4-0. Just a, just an average day for Priestley, it feels. Priestley, he's he's primed and ready after after his rest there for two weeks. He's coming in, you know. He's like, all right, Sino, you know, we get you the new kid on the block. You want to show off, but uh, Priestley's got to show, you know. He's he's still here to compete. Yeah, you know, you can teach old dogs a new trick. Apparently, after eating Jello all week, he can still pop off in these games. But even then, Sino you know, already opening up real nice. Our last here just sort of vibing as well hasn't died yet. Bendy just, you know, taking the falls for the team, but thus far, yeah, my goodness, look at this 50-point lead already erupting. It's uh, a little bit brutal to start this one off, but Northeastern trying to get some control back. And, you know, getting a kill on Bendy, not the worst way to get that off, as well as killing Cena once as well. Yeah, not only are they now at almost a 60-point lead here, but we see two streaks about to be fulfilled. So that is going to be two glide bombs in the hands of the Saints as Cena now hits that eight streak. Jay Rich, can he fight? Oh, he finds the headshot there. That was a nice one onto Bendy, but in the end, they're actually going to be able to grab control of this hard point. Can last fight it out, though? He can, so that's going to be three points in the direction of North Sea. Eastern and straight back to St. Clair control. Yeah, looking a little bit rough for Northeastern to say the least. I mean, yes, they get the streaks down and everything, but even then, you can see the Saints already rotating over to the, the third hard point already, and for half of this game, they've been on this hard point, absolutely demolishing everything that Northeastern are able to pull through for themselves. Decreasing once again back on this point, but actually, they will finally get the double digits. I was worried for a little bit for Northeastern. There we go. This is, this is really difficult. Priestley picks up his fifth in a row there. My goodness. Priestley just absolutely violated the rest of Northeastern that was sitting on the hard point there. Now, J-Rich going to cook a frag. Or is it a little too far past, past okay. Priestley there? But E-Chase is able to find it. Bendy grabbing a double kill. The, the, the only thing I'm seeing right now is just doubles and triples and a triple from Priestley to clear out the site. St. Clair just absolutely racking up the multi-kills. We see three players on the team now hit double-digit kills with Relaz not far behind and only one death to his name. So still playing very, very well. And a minute 27 objective time on Relaz. Exactly. Relaz is just the one saying, hey guys, you go get the kills. I'm just going to chill on the point, get anyone who tries to lurk up here. Does fall actually there. Uh, Northeastern are able to rest control back, but already halfway to that 250 that we've been talking about. Now, it's really difficult for Northeastern to get any more control, but they're starting to rack up a couple of points here on this hard point. Can St. Clair get back into it? Asana finds a double kill, but it looks like they're just going to get bowed down once again. St. Clair looking to get back onto the site. Yeah, Sino sending it into sight there is not able to find any, but Bendy finds two for himself with a grenade to help out with that. E-Chase not able to fight it out there with Relaz. Sino finding another kill for himself, and with two players down, you don't really <laughs> got much to be able to take this back. Bendy lurking oh. in the bushes. He's able to find Jay Rich, but BLT Bravo able to trade it out after taking a little bit of damage himself. Relast finds himself flanked on by E-Chase there, but in the end, the hard point. Look at that. Look at the score just ticking up for St. Clair now. 130 point lead almost exactly. As Sino going to be taken down, Asuna, another double oh kill goodness. going to Priestley. And Relaz finds one as well, this hard point all but controlled for, I'm going to say, another 15 seconds here before our push can get set up. Yeah, I mean, Priestley just got eyes at the back of his head as well. You know, you may have removed the wisdom teeth, but you can't take out those uh, third and fourth eyes, apparently. There's oh. another one picked up. My goodness, he just bows down everyone four in a row. Just a team kill all by himself there. So, think like, yeah, I don't think they're going to be giving up this point anytime soon. It looks like we might only get another point at this point. Uh, look at this. Look at these angles coming through for Relaz as well. Everyone's able to effectively trade, but no one's really dying. It's all these trades, but it's all you know, all going the way of Saints at this point. Yeah, I think we're seeing almost 60, 60 plus kills for sure now coming out of St. Clair. Meanwhile, we're seeing just about 20 going over to Northeastern, and the score definitely reflects that. I mean, Northeastern just getting picked off left and right, and when they finally do get a full four-man team push to try and get some some pressure on that hard point. You see a player like Priestley just come in with that automaton, wipe four of them out. One of those was, I believe, a collateral as well. 
Priestley still just absolutely dominating this left lane of the site here as 220 points now on St. Clair College, and they should be able to just absolutely clean house here. Yeah, it might not even need another hard point after this one. You can see they're really struggling from the side of Northeast. They're, everyone just chilling on the point. Relaz has a five streak for himself now. You can see just a little bit of trouble getting this kill right here on our screen, but is able to clean that one up. You know, when it's going for you, it's really going. It's actually going to be Northeastern getting control back. They're going to at least keep it from a 200 point a defeat at this point. They're keeping it as close as they can, but even then, contesting his point once again, will need one more point to believe for the side of St. Clara, but even then, it's just running out of time, you know, 10 points to go. It, it's going to be have to be a miracle if they're able to come back. Yeah, so unfortunately for the Saints, they are going to have to wait on this next hard point, but you already see Relaxed and Priestley set up there. Glide Bomb going to come in, <laughs> clear out anyone who was going to try and save it at the last second there. And that is going to be a 195 point win for the Saints here on map one. That was quick. That, that was, was quick. Yeah, that was quick. Oh wow, this is, yeah, this is the play oh. you gotta watch. Look at him line up for Priestley. That had to have been a wall bang that I saw in yeah. chat there and then in the kill feed. Look at that, 2,700 damage coming out from Priestley. He came back into this week hot and ready. Yeah, no pun intended. 24 non-traded kills. That just mm -hmm. means that every single time Priestley was getting a kill, no, he was just, he was staying alive, you know, yeah. every single time. It was always him getting his one, him getting his two, him getting his four at the end there. And of course, play the game going towards him. No surprise. You know, this this is the names, the namesake here to yeah. really push the Saints program across the board. But, you know, 1-0 already. That was way too quick, I think. Yeah, the veteran there from the Saints making map one pretty well just open and shut there as we are going to be moving into map two desert siege search and destroy this one truly i have no expectations from either team here because who knows truthfully who knows what team feels the strongest on this map whether it's the saints whether it's northeastern i've seen the saints play the map once in all of vanguard's lifespan so it really is going to be an outlier coming out here yeah, I think that we're just waiting to see if they're gonna who's gonna actually sub out because that's the main thing. I believe mm -hmm. Blaz is coming back in for search and destroy. We'll have to see who actually ends up taking the seat for that one. I mean, all four players played incredibly well. It's really hard to you know pick and choose who you want to sort of bench in that situation. I feel like you don't really need to in a lot of situations, but especially when you've got a roster as stacked as Saint Clair, you know, you've got five, six, seven players who are very capable of taking those spots. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to make some decisions, you know, give some players some rest from once in a while, and maybe just get a little bit more information on the enemy team as well. So we'll find out how they end up. Yeah, and that's the thing. If you look at the scoreboard, yeah, Relazd wasn't up there in kills with Priestley and them, but we pointed out that objective time probably three minutes by the end of the oh, yeah. game, if we're being honest with ourselves. But now, Vanguard time. We're going to have to send it to break <laughs> as we get this next lobby set up here. And uh, yeah, we're going to return to you with map two, Desert Siege, Search and Destroy. Waterloo Porno. set up on just the site. Just Rebby just day. walks straight in. Priestly, he's, he's out for prime and, and ready after the outer is He gets a lot of info in Caillou! You know, it's like, like alright, you know, we get you the new kid on the block. You want to show angle, off. But, uh, Priestly's got to show, you know. He's, he's not still here, though. Three points in the direction. Caillou's now in behind. One on Havex, the second. Moody's with a kill at the exact same time. on the same I mean, yes, they get the streak down and everything. But even then, actually comes out for North East. Eastern, so hard after grabbing like five points on the site the there, it looks like the control is going to go over the same piece. Yeah, already so starting off. You know, yeah, yeah, welcome back to the stream, by the yeah, way. You know, just getting right into the action here. Digits. Of course, this is a map for you for a little bit for Northeast. Well, well, this is, this is really going to be sad. Not going to be too surprised with anything. Up for the fourth state player now. 130 point lead almost exactly. Over to the side of Northeast. They're going to be taking the dominance. This team is ready to pull. They're going to Priestley. Of course, already. Her last five one as well. This only one kill. All left going over to the side of Northeast. I'm going to say it. The dominance this team is ready to pop down. Up well, you know, you may have just the wizard now, but can't take out those uh, uh, Priestly, he's here. He has another one picked up right here. He has both of his friends there for two for himself. He's with the nade to help you know that. It's like, all right, Chase, we get you the new kid on the block. We want to show off, but Priestly's got to show, you know, he's still here down. You don't really want much to be able to take this back. Bendy lurking in the bushes. He's able to find Jay Rich, but he's still at least. I mean, yes, they get the trade it out after taking a little bit of damage himself. 
heading over. Her last finds third. himself hard flanked on by the E-Chase there, but in the end, hard point, hard point. Hard point. Hard point. look at that. Everything that hard well, this hard point, point through for themselves, all but can reason once they get back. I'm gonna say another 50. Actually, they will finally get the double digits. I was worried for a little bit. This is, this is, this is, you know, you may have removed your wisdom team, but you can't take out those, uh, chicken up with eyes, apparently. Clair now, 130 point lead, almost down everyone. Four in a row, just a team kill all by himself there. Another goal kill going to be given up this point anytime soon. And Relaz finds one as well, this hard point at this point. All but look at this. Look at these angles coming through for Relaz as well. Everyone's able to effectively trade, but no one's over for North Eastern. The score definitely well, you know, you may have removed the wisdom team, but he can't take out those third and fourth eyes, apparently. And there's another one picked up Mike, and he just both four man team push from Brian gets some need to help him with that. Hard point, not see a player like that out there with Relaz, you know, finding another build. Four of them out. One but of those was, I believe, a Claire's down. You don't look at all. But getting the to for take this back. No. Grabbing the Eco Frag. Lurking the in the bushes. He's able to find J Ray one as well. BLT Bravo. Players able to trade it out now. He's trying to play himself. Crossfire on this ball. Last point. I think he'll find Lang on by E Chase there. Second one from four tapping these Spectres. Hard point. Putting in the value where it's needed. Third for four tapping that round. Flawless on the advance. Moving back. Getting these lineups set up. We're gonna be battling it out. Two heads. Oh my goodness! Through the smoke. Another one picked up. Oh my goodness! The Saints are trying to get this round and four in a row. Just a few kills all by so For all they, all that they've invested, they still gotta get the bomb down. Looks like we might be sitting in front for so long and. Now the time is coming through for a while. Away on that lockdown, Caillou. No one's got to find something here. Two for Caillou. That's the third in the round. What a spray transfer onto Yaga there. Yaga just whipping that shot on Caillou. Man, team one v two for Lucifer now. Some pressure on that hard point around the same player needed. Holding that. That smoke so so intense. One of those, I believe, a collateral. Well, Caillou gonna have to start spamming something here. Absolutely dominating this left lane. I've heard the OMTC on the box or on the generator. They need. Twenty they're points to find their own spam. On their college, and they well, should be able to just a great angle by Coco. Welcome back to map two, everybody. We are going to be kicking things off in five seconds here, and slight switch up from the first game, Adam. We are going to be seeing Laz now replacing Relaz there for the search rosters, and possibly for game five as well, if Northeastern is able to bring this back and take it that far. Currently, Northeastern with the bomb on that attacking side. They're going to be... Looks like they're aiming to send it towards this A site near the train, but Jay Rich bombed down early. Yeah. There's a substitution paying off already. Blaz able to pick that one up. Finds another one for themselves. Maybe this is why they picked Desert Siege. Maybe Blaz yep. is just the B there stands for it. Uh, but very good at... I don't know where I was going with that one. <laughs> Honestly, but regardless, already two kills picked up for themselves. And it's... After what we saw on hard point, they're really going to be difficult to vet against St. Clair in this one because that was dominant on all levels. Oh my goodness, with the flashbang coming through as well. Yeah, traded back though as Bendy goes a little bit too far for that one. Sino though, going to find the last one in each case, the only one left alive. Sino, uh, I don't want to say it, but considering he's their SMG player from what I remember last week, he just whipped out the car 98 just to... You know, toss <laughs> toss a sniper into the mix there. You know, a lot of teams do pick a sniper on Desert Siege, but it's interesting seeing, you know, a player as aggressive as Sino on it. And wow, Wallbang there too for Blaz to pick up his third kill of the round and absolutely sweep it there for the Saints in the first round. And no surprise, I think. I mean, if you're going to have someone who's really good at SMD here, you want to make sure that they're uh, showing up. And thus far, that's exactly what's happening. Priestley didn't have to do anything there after a great performance on Hardpoint. That says, hey, Blaz, you take the wheel. You got this one. But uh, once again, they will be going back on attack. Bendy actually going to be the one to carry that bomb. So maybe a little bit less inclined to go for some of those aggressive plays that he was looking for. But wow. What? Five, ten seconds in? They're already planting here on B. But Jay Rich going to find that one a little bit too aggressive once again. At least you know where the bomb is, though. Yeah, they really tried it, and I don't think I really think they thought Northeastern was just gonna sit there and allow it to happen because no one from the Saints even went up to help out Bendy there as he was planting. They all just stayed in their post plant positions and kind of just assumed they were gonna get the plant down. And it was actually, I believe it was Asuna there who was able to find the kill just at that last second of the plant, too. The plant was very close to getting down. Yeah, just right place, right time in that situation. Now gonna have to scramble around a little bit. 
really going to be BLT Bravo finding the kill into Priestly. So down to Blaz and down to Sino. But these are the two with all the kills thus far. You have to expect them to be looking pretty strong. You just got to find the bomb. You got to get onto it as well. And uh, make sure that you aren't getting picked off beforehand. You can see so aggressive with the sniper. We'll get gunned down now all up to Blaz. But anyone's going to do it. It's going to be Blaz finds one around the back end of it. Picks up the sniper. Oh, just misses. Yeah, if he hit that shot, wow, that could have been the clutch of the century. But keep in mind, it's Blazed in a 1v2. He's got an MP40 and a Car 98 in hand. So he's got all the tools ready to make this happen. Ah. One frag available as well, but the time limit is going to be reached. Not able to find that, but I believe he does save the streak that he had. Yes. So that should help out going into these later rounds. So 1-1 one, one for Northeastern. Great defensive round there. And I think a lot of the times on these SMDs as well, sometimes defense just ends up being a little bit better because you're able to, if you get the bomb down and you have enough members around it, you can just sort of defend the bomb from there. But at the same time, you know, they're really, really good on their own defense. And I think if they play a little bit more patiently on that offense side, they should be able to figure that one out for themselves. Jarich here has the bomb. Let's see what they opt to go for. It doesn't matter. Bendy just going to hop over. That's already two frags picked up for the side of St. Clair. 4v2 going to be very tough for Northeast to make their mark. Yeah, that sniper shot actually just revealed player three there from which is e chase from northeastern bendy though no sight of him e chase absolutely running circles around bendy right now as blaz we've seen him in this same spot before botting out that i believe that's a church there you know now they're just set up now they're just chasing down blt bravo this last player only priestly has fallen and there it is st Clair college gonna be winning that defending ground so currently looks like you're right defense might just be that much easier here on Desert Siege. And he gonna find the final kill there. Three and two in this game now. Yeah, and honestly, it's, it's been really interesting to see their strategy as well in terms of what they're going for. I mean, Northeastern trying to play as aggressive as possible. Unfortunately for BLT Bravo, had that three streak going, gonna fall once again. So we'll see if St. Clair are able to transition this into an offensive win. You know, you've still got the streak available on Blaz and Bandy, so hopefully they can build those up for themselves as well over time. Yeah, Blaz getting aggressive initially here. He meets one, finds the first kill. Peeking those stairs. Not gonna find anyone just yet, but Asuna is on this lower level ready to hold it. Now the plant is coming down from Priestley and unlike that last attacking round, it is gonna be good. So now Saints have four players available. Now with a two-player numbers advantage for this post plant, Blaz absolutely ripping through the enemies here. He's going to find himself 7-0 right now. Asuna with one to trade it back, but you're in a 1v3 now post plant on Desert Siege. What can you do? St. Clair College going to be taking this search game 3-1. Yeah, getting a lead there and Priestley finally able to pick that one up. You know, so many angles for Asuna to watch there, but I don't know. I don't know. Point out, Blaz lived that with 7 HP. So yeah. just barely staying alive, keeping that streak alive. You know, 7-0 right now. They feel really good about themselves. You know, this is who you... This is their substitution. This is them changing up their roster a little bit, putting them in for this SND and doing a really, really good job of sort of getting themselves back on the front foot here. And especially on an offensive round, we said defense is going to be so much better on this map, it feels. And it's far working out, though. Blaz will end up losing the big there, unfortunately. Yeah, and that's the power of the AR here in Vanguard. The Automaton is an absolute laser in the hands of some of these players. Sino getting aggressive and just absolutely cleaning up the rest of that round 4-1. And to Northeastern's credit, at this point in the game, after after map one and that first round, I really thought we were going to see a 6-0 here in search. So yeah. to Northeastern's credit, they were able to grab that first one. But now it's Blaz there. He is looking absolutely unstoppable. Not to mention Sino, you know, he's showing up just as strong as last week. Just, you know, giving, giving Blaz a little bit more of the credit. Yeah, I mean, even then, you know, just able to find, I think, three kills in that last mm -hmm. round as well. So really showing up for themselves as well. This time on the offensive side, Bendy trying to get aggressive. This time, not planting right away. And I think this might be just for giving them a little bit more time to set up for themselves, make sure that they've got the site secured for themselves. And now, you know, 45 second timer, you're going to put Northeastern in a little bit of a pressure pinch. Blaz finds first blood once again. My goodness, they've been on fire. Yeah, and now all these players set up perfectly for the post plant here. Asuna 
Evening it out into a 2v2. Bendy spotting out Asuna, just tagging him, not able to find the kill. Keeping it a 2v2 here. Bendy gonna fall. And now it's Sino. 1v2, 20 seconds left on the bomb. He's perfectly set up with this sniper to be able to make his defensive plays. But BLT Bravo spots him out in the corner, whiffs the initial sniper shot. Now he's got to try and oh. shut down Asuna. But no time to defuse, I believe. Oh? We are going to see it. Will he cut it? Ah. No, he will not. That is going to be 0.1 seconds left on the bomb. Probably like 0.3 left on the defuse. Just not enough time to cut it. Sino was able to clutch out that round in the post play. <laughs> Gotta love COD players. <laughs> you know, at a certain point, you're just like, you know, I'm probably going down here. Might as well look for something. I uh, just get a little bit of a clip worthy moment there. But of course, the clutch coming through in that St. Clair on match point here. Feeling really good about themselves. And I mean, Bendy still technically holding the kill streak for themselves because they were the last ones alive, technically. So we'll see how it pays out for this last round. If this will be the last round, of course. This is a defensive half, and defense has been pretty, pretty airtight for the side St. Clair. Yeah, that's got to be a bug, though. I'm pretty sure Bendy died that round, did he not? Yeah. Yeah, I he think... should not have that streak, but did get... we love Call of Duty. Oh, that's yeah. all I'm going to say. We love Call of Duty. Asuna going to be taking a lot of space towards the mid of the map here. He's actually going to be pushing in, about to find himself in a fight with Blaz. He's able to take him down. That's a big player from the Saints shut down, but Priestley finds a double there. I don't even th know if he meant to find Asuna. And now, that's going to be the game cleaned out from St. Clair College yep. in about a 15-second round there. Yeah, they're just friendly firing at each other now. <laughs> uh, Sino kills Bendy, and now just sprinting around. You know, always got to have a little bit of fun. Got to do the little spinorama moves. Oh my goodness, we're breaking the game as well. You know, that's just, uh, St. Clair, they're just running away with this one. They're feeling really good about themselves, and my goodness. What a search and destroy, especially from Blaz there, who opened that up so, so, so hot. Yeah, and Blaz literally being subbed in specifically for this game mode. And that's the one of the really cool things about COD, too, is not a lot of games have, you know, a competitive series or, like, their competitive rule sets include different game modes. Like, everything else, you know, Valorant, you're playing, you're playing the bomb plant. Siege, yeah. you're playing the bomb plant. But COD mixes it up. They throw Hardpoint in there. They throw Control in there. So when you have, you know, a deeper roster, like you said, you know, just a super expansive roster, you're able to sub players in for certain game modes. You, you know, for all we know, Blaz was picked up for Search and Destroy. We've had players like that before. And that's something about COD that, you know, kind of makes it special in, in terms of esports and really differentiates itself from some of these other games that we, you know, we cast here on the broadcast. Yeah, I think especially, you know, sort of in the same vein as Overwatch, but not as much mm -hmm. in terms of the different sort of types of game modes. I think in general, Overwatch ends up a lot of the same, very similar play styles in a lot of them. But, yeah. you know, it's very different when you look at COD. You know, Hardpoint, it's all about getting as many kills as possible, just trying to run it down as quickly as possible. The flip side, you know, Search and Destroy, a little bit more tactical, a little bit more strategy oriented than on the flip mm -hmm. side. When we get to Control, I believe it is, it's going to be... A little bit of a mix of both. At the yeah, end of it's it. like a best of both worlds kind exactly, of game yeah. mode because, yeah, it's a fast, hectic game mode just like Hardpoint, but you've got that live counter that, you know, makes you have to think about every gunfight you're getting yeah. into. Yeah, you've got a big, big, uh, the word here, like, you've got a cushion to sit on with those lives, but you don't really have to, you know, play super cautiously you can just kind of get in there and battle it out so as we get this next lobby set up here we are going to be returning to you with map three gava two control you don't want to miss it Hill actually comes out for northeast for eastern so after grabbing like five points on site there it looks like the control is going to go over to st Clair. Yeah, already just starting off. You know, yeah, welcome back to the stream, by the yeah. way. You know, just getting right into the action here. Of course, this is a map that we've seen St. Clair do really well on, on hard points specifically. So, not going to be too surprised with anything that comes through from them. Of course, already resting control of this game. And only one kill, two kills now, going over to the side of Northeastern. But already you can see the dominance this team is ready to pop down as you can see anything that comes through from them. Of course, already resting control of this game. And only one kill, two kills now, going over to the side of Northeastern. But already you can see the dominance this team is ready to pop down as you can see, you know, Picking up a couple on Priestley. Four no. Just a, just an average day for Priestley, it feels. Priestley, he's he's primed and ready after after his rest there for two weeks. He's coming in. You know, he's like, alright, Sino, we get you the new kid on the block you want to show off, but uh Priestley's gotta show, you know, he's he's still here three points in the direction of Northeast. 
Northeastern and right back to St. Clair control. Yeah, looking a little bit rough for Northeastern to say the least. I mean, yes, they get the streaks down and everything, but even then you can see the Saints already rotating over to the third hard point already. And for half of this game, they've been on this hard point, absolutely demolishing everything that Northeastern are able to pull through for themselves. Increasingly, once again, back on this point. Actually, they will finally get the double digits. I was worried for a little bit for Northeastern. There we go. This is, this is really different. Look at the score just ticking up for St. Clair now. 130 point lead almost exactly as Sino is going to be taken down. Asuna, another double oh, kill going to Priestley. And Relaz finds one as well. This hard point all but controlled for, I'm going to say, another 15 seconds here before our push can get to those. Yeah, I mean, Priestley just got eyes in the back of his head as well. You know, you may have removed the Wisdom Teeth, but you can't take out those uh, third and fourth eyes, apparently. There's oh. another one picked up. My goodness, he just both. But Bendy finds two for himself with a grenade to help out with that. E Chase not able to fight it out there with Relaz, you know, finding another kill for himself. And with two players down, you don't really <laughs> got much to be able to take this back. Bendy lurking in the bushes. He's able to find Jay Rich, but BLT Bravo able to trade it out after taking a little bit of damage himself. Relaz finds himself flanked on by E Chase there, but in the end, the hard point, look at that. Well, this hard point all but controlled for, I'm going to say, another 15 seconds here before our push gets it up. Yeah, I mean, Priestley just got eyes in the back of his head as well. You know, you may have removed the Wisdom Teeth, but you can't take out those uh, third and fourth eyes, apparently. There's oh. another one picked up. My goodness, he just bows down everyone four in a row. Just a team kill all by himself there. So, I think, like, yeah, I don't think they're going to be giving up this point anytime soon. It looks like we might only get another point at this point. Uh, look at this. Look at these angles coming through for Relaz as well. Everyone's able to effectively trade, but no one over to Northeastern, and the score definitely reflects that. I mean, Northeastern just getting picked off left and right, and when they finally do get a full four-man team push to try and get some some pressure on that hard point, you see a player like Priestley just come in with that automaton, wipe four of them out. One of those was, I believe, a collateral as well. Priestley still just absolutely dominating this left lane of the site here as... 220 points now on St. Clair College, and they should be able to just get their military. Yeah, so unfortunately for the Saints, they are going to have to wait on this next hard point, but you already see Relast and Priestley set up there. Glide Bomb going to come in. Here we go. Map 3 2 0 for the Saints here now. This is going to be the map that can make it a clean 3 0 sweep here against Northeastern University. Northeastern, you know. We, with their, based on their record, we didn't have the highest hopes for them, but we kind of hope they could come in and give us a good show here because they are typically a very strong school. But in the end, this Saints roster this year is just unstoppable so far. Yeah. Relaz coming back in for Blaz after that last one. Already picked up a couple of kills, so three kills actually. So feeling pretty good, you know, starting to take that kill lead. And progress at A, progress at B, it looks like as well. They're just controlling both of these points at this point, which is a little bit odd, I want to say, on control. Normally, you don't expect that. Yeah, normally you don't, but when you've got players like what? Priestley who can literally sit here and solo cap A for all three ticks while finding two kills for himself in the process, Relaz running around this map absolutely destroying the rest of Northeastern, and that's going to be A just about capped <laughs> in a sec here. Priestley... He's going to finish it off. Will BLT find him? No, he will not. And now Saints have oh, two minutes all the time in the world to cap this B site here. 11 kill lead as well already. We talked about how the lives is just sort of something you have to be cognizant of. But I don't really think they're going to care too much with how much of a lead they have. They can play a little bit fast and loose here at that. I mean, then again, you see Northeastern calling back a couple of lives. Contested on this point. We talked about it in the break there. The tank versus the boat. The boat a little bit easier to get to with this tank. They're sort of getting camped out by Asuna here. If they're able to sort of get a cohesive push onto this site, they should be able to cap it for themselves and push that forward. But, you know, we've got a minute 38. That's such a long time in COD. It's such a fast-paced game. You know, every single minute counts, but even then, every single kill they're getting counts as well. They're doubled up on the lives they've got. Yeah, and one thing we saw from the Academy team earlier this week, a very good way to clear off that tank, was they had two players with lineup just cook nades until they would pop at the perfect timing and they were able to grab one or two kills and just absolutely clear out that control point there and Relaz. Relaz is just <laughs> absolutely violating right now 11 and 0 in this control game no more lives left for the side of northeastern and there it is 
final zone gonna be captured and like we said saints cod looking unstoppable right now yeah, relazo was mad that he was stuck on the point for most yeah. of that hard point <laughs> game decided to come through and get 11 in the first round no, that's a third of the lives he just took off the table by himself. And I mean, all the other three players, you know, Frieza just sitting there capping the point because why not? You know, just doesn't really have to do as much. And if you can have one of your best players just sort of get objective kills, sit on the points and everything, while the other three players are able to run around getting kills as they wish, you know, you're feeling pretty good about themselves. But of course, this is going to swap over. We'll see how Northeast can do on the offense this time around. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, oh. wow, Bendy. Yeah, that bear was gonna be poking out, and those destructible walls are the death of Northeastern here. Two kills, are, or three, four kills already coming out now for the Saints in this defending round. Bendy, how many can he find here? There's one. Second one not gonna be found. Sino, line them up. One, two, three. 22 lives now left for Northeastern <laughs> as all of the map control goes into the Saints' hands. Yeah, and I think, I think the only like downside about this uh, round so far is that Rolaz lost his streak right off the gut go, but you know, Sino, Priestley, able to pick themselves up streaks of their own and already just controlling it. Seven kills up this early on. No progress made on either one of those points, and that's a lot to say on control where you know normally you can get one of those points pretty easily you just stack four people on that site where someone has to always you know keep their eye on the opposite side of the map but priestly getting the five streak here now starting to show up a little bit for themselves getting you know, comfortable in their skin a little bit more this round but already 10 kill 10 lives up yeah Saints. interesting thing i've noticed from a lot of the teams here on gavin 2 is that most teams opt for three ars and then the one smg here on this map even on both hardpoint and control we've seen it so it's interesting to see as a lot of the maps, you know, two subs reign supreme, but with how long some of these sight lines are and with how fast the time to kill is from that automaton, look at it. Just absolutely shredding rich there as Sino finds his 13th kill of the match. This should be all but done for the Saints. Four seconds left here on the timer and just about no one alive for Northeastern to make this push. And there it is. St. Clair College going to win both the attacking and now the defending round, bringing them back to attack. And, you know, attack's usually the harder one here on control, but Saints Varsity just absolutely dominating throughout this series. And yeah. they're looking to make this not only a sweep of the series, but a sweep of control as well. And honestly, they looked so comfy on this attack as well. They said, you know what, we'll get the points or we'll just get your lives at that. You know, really putting them between a rock and a hard place here. And, you know, absolute domination we saw we've seen some really strong performances from them in the last couple of weeks but this is just on another level i feel like especially just sort of warming up as time goes on hard point we thought it was going to be a 200 point victory but now just continuing that trend granted a couple of kills going back the way of northeastern so maybe just getting a little bit too ahead of themselves just trying to get the nerves out get onto these points and start to control them but already some progress that a something that northeastern couldn't even do yeah Second tick now about to be grabbed here at A. Nobody really in time from Northeastern to rotate against this as we saw, I believe it was Bendy early on in this round, try to go grab that B site here. And once again, another solo push towards B here from Bendy as a lot of that pressure going over to the other side of the map. If he even gets like half this tick and his team can rotate in time, then that was so worth the early sacrifice for last. <laughs> taking down Sino as well there. We actually see so many more team kills in COD than I was expecting, and Priestley, there's the value of that tank. You see him just absolutely hunkered down in here, spraying down every single lane where Northeastern is trying to come, and there it is, the clean sweep in control, the clean sweep of the series, 4-0 now in Nay Star League. It's gonna be Saints Varsity COD. Wow, that's all I could say. There, there's, there is to a point where you know words don't really explain what was going on there. That was just, yeah. that was kind of disgusting. I mean, you can see that like three of the players were just like, "Yep, see you later." Just, just head out. But wow, that was the fastest 3-0 uh, I think we could have gotten here. And yeah, that, that's it. That's all I got to say, man. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean, lobbies, breaks, and all. We are sitting here at around a 40-minute series. Hard point, probably one of the fastest hard point games I've seen in a long, long time as well. And I can't help but have a smile on my face oh, after yeah. that one. I, what a great showing there from Saints Cod. And Northeastern now finding themselves 0-4 in this Nace Star League division after week four here.
Any final thoughts for the night, Adam? Honestly, just really good to see five players show up for the side of Saints in that sense. You know, I was coming in for the Search and Destroy there, just doing such a good job. You know, mm -hmm. starting that off with an amazing streak for themselves. Relas says, you know what, I'll do you one better. Gets the 11th <laughs> streak on map three and everything. But, you know, everyone firing in all cylinders, of course. Welcome back, Priestley. Hope you are feeling better after Wisdom Teeth Surge. We all know how that feels, and uh, hopefully the Jello doesn't get you too down. But overall, just such a great series from the side of Saints. And I'm excited to see more COD this season. They're looking really yeah, and I definitely loved seeing just the swap into Blaz for the search. It was such a good shakeup after that first match, and he came in and absolutely performed. And it's got, yeah, given me really, really high hopes for the rest of the semester. So that's going to be it from us tonight. A nice quick one for you. Thanks, oh, yeah. Call of Duty. And uh, I'm Josh Fundy Pafundi, joined here by Adam Rare, Adam Trolls. We will be back tomorrow night with Rocket League. And don't forget, Rocket League and CSGO on Friday. You definitely don't want to miss what's coming up the rest of this week. And thank you so, so much for watching. Have a good night. Roster this year is just unstoppable so far. Blaz coming back in for Blaz after that last one. Already picked up a couple of kills for the first kills, actually. So feeling pretty good, you know, starting to take that kill lead. Progress at A, progress at B, it looks like. Well, they're just controlling both of these points at this point, which is a little bit odd, I want to say, on control. Normally, you don't expect that. Yeah, normally you don't, but when you cut players like Gracely, who can literally sit here and solo cap a minute 38, it's like such a long time to be on such a fast paced game. You know, every single minute counts, but every single kill they're getting counts as well. They're doubled up on the last year's gone. Yeah, and one thing we saw from the Academy team earlier this week, a very good way to clear off that tank was they had two players with lineups just hook nades until they would pop at the perfect timing, and they were able to grab one or two kills and just absolutely clear out that control point there. And the three players were able to run around getting kills as they wish. You know, they're feeling pretty good about themselves, but of course this is going to swap over. We'll see how Northeast can do on the attack. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, oh, wow, Bendy, you, that bear was going to be poking out, and those destructible walls are the death of Northeastern here. Two kills, are, or three, four kills already coming out now for the Saints in this defending round. Bendy, how many can he find here? There's one. Second one not going to be found. Walls are the death of Northeastern here. Two kills, are, or three, four kills already coming out now for the Saints in this defending round. Bendy, how many can he find here? There's one. Second one not going to be found. Sino line them up. One, two, three. 22 lives now left for Northeastern as all of the map control goes into the Saints' hands. Yeah, and I think, I think the only like downside about this uh, round so far is that Rolaz lost their streak right off the gut go. But you know, yeah, second tick now about to be grabbed here at A. Nobody really in time from Northeastern to rotate against this as we saw, I believe it was Bendy early on in this round. Try to go grab that B site here. And once again, another solo push towards B here from Bendy is a lot of that pressure going over to the other side of the map. If he even gets like half this tick and his team can rotate in time, then that was so worth the early sacrifice. Bendy early on in this round. Try to go grab that B site here. And once again, another solo push towards B here from Bendy is a lot of that pressure going over to the other side of the map. If he even gets like half this tick and his team can rotate in time, then that was so worth the early sacrifice for last. <laughs> Taking down Sino as well there. We actually see so many more team kills in Todd than I was expecting. And Priestley, there's the end. This Saint and this Saint roster this year is just unstoppable so far. Blaz coming back in for Blaz after that last one. Already picked up a couple of kills for the first kills, actually. So feeling pretty good, you know, starting to take that kill lead. And progress at A, progress at B, it looks like. Well, they're just controlling both of these points at this point, which is a little bit odd, I want to say, on control. Normally, you don't expect that. Yeah, normally you don't, but when you cut players like Priestley, who can literally sit here and solo cap a minute 38, it's like such a long time to be on. It's such a fast paced game. You know, every single minute counts, but even then, every single kill they're getting counts as well. They're doubled up on the last hand off. Yeah, and one thing we saw from the Academy team earlier this week, a very good way to clear off that tank was they had two players with lineups just hook nades until they would pop at the perfect timing and they were able to grab one or two kills and just absolutely clear out that control point there and the three players were able to run around getting kills 
as they wish. You know, you're feeling pretty good about themselves, but of course this is gonna swap over. We'll see how Northeast then do on the uh, this time. Yeah, and if I'm not mistaken, oh, wow, Bendy, you, that bear was gonna be poking out, and those destructible walls are the death of Northeastern here. Two kills are, or three, four kills already coming out now for the Saints in this defending round. Bendy, how many can he find here? There's one. Second one not gonna be found. Walls are the death of Northeastern here. Two kills are, or three, four kills already coming out now for the Saints in this defending round. Bendy, how many can he find here? There's one. Second one not gonna be found. Sino, line them up. One, two, three. 22 lives now left for Northeastern <laughs> as all of the map control goes into the Saints' hands. And I think the only like downside about this uh, round so far is that Earl has lost his streak right off the got go, but yeah. Second tick now about to be grabbed here at A. Nobody really in time from Northeastern to rotate against this as we saw, I believe it was Bendy early on in this round, try to go grab that B site here. And <laughs> once again, another solo push towards B here from Bendy as a lot of that pressure going over to the other side of the map. If he even gets like half this tick, and his team can rotate in time, and that was so worth the early sacrifice. Early on in this round, try to go grab that B site here, and <laughs> once again, another solo push towards B here from Bendy, as a lot of that pressure going over to the other side of the map. If he even gets like half this tick, and his team can rotate in time, then that was so worth the early sacrifice for last. <laughs> taking down Sino as well there. We actually see so many more team kills in COD than I was expecting. And Priestley, there's the end. This Saints roster this year is just unstoppable so far. Relaz coming back in for Blaz after that last one already.